is rodavis.com. This is BHO Innovation, and this is just smells so good.com. It comes to my um, realization here that people do make money. Some of them make a lot of money. Some of them make tremendous amount of money. But the money that they money that they make is the reflection of an education, a reflection of um, a job, a reflection of working harder two jobs at a time, a reflection of uh, working more and spending less time with family. Here's why: a lot of people do not know how to create money. And if you don't know how to create money, you're going to have a lot of problems in life. It doesn't matter who you are, what sector that you place yourself on. It doesn't matter if you're a lawyer, doctor, electrician, whomever. If you don't know how to create money, money going to lose its value with you. I'm trying to figure that out, right? See, down below I wrote a book. Create God Purpose on Your Family, Life, and Prosperity. Another book I wrote, Business Hustler Owner. Another book I wrote, The 1010 Rule, How the Wealthy Get Rich. All right. You can get rich. But let me explain this. And some of you may say, I make a lot of money. I make more money than I could spend. Oh, man, I make a lot of money. All right. With that said, I'm not going to doubt you whatsoever. Because you wouldn't be viewing me here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or all the social sites that I have. Listen, man. Creating money is different from working for money. See, creating money means that you creating a future for your family. Like when you start a business, like when you write a book, when you buy real estate, when you buy land, you creating. You creating sources of income that's going to continue to come back. But when you got a high income, you got high risk when you work for a job because you're not leveraging that. You're not leveraging anything. You are leveraging because you call your job the best investment that you ever, 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 ever had. If this you, my friend, you're going to be at a higher risk than anyone. The owner who works, who own the company, that's his best investment. He just hired you so he can live the lifestyle that he wants, him or her, as far as they want to go. I did some numbers. And maybe you might need to do some numbers. Let's go. Let's go at $80,000 a year. Okay, $80,000 a year in America is a lot of money compared to most in the world. Like in Ethiopia, um, Vietnam, uh, Korea, those countries, most of the, the people that work there get 50 cents a day. 50 cents a day to $2 a day. So $80,000 to Americans, that's a lot of money. But let's go, let's do these numbers because I want to help you understand why I said this may not be the best uh, value for you. $80,000 a year after taxes, after FICA, after insurance, it's going to equate to about $60,000 a year. All right. You living like you. They gave you a mortgage on $80,000. You 
you got a stay at home wife. She take care of the kids. You know, hopefully she take care of the kids. Let's say if she don't, and she wants to have her own career, and she makes thirty thousand dollars a year. Well, y'all at one hundred and ten thousand dollars a year. But we're gonna start back on eighty, so I won't get you confused. So sixty thousand rent. You got a mortgage of thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars. All right. All right. Twelve hundred sixty thousand dollars a year is like twelve hundred dollars a week. Add it up times fifty-two weeks. That's about sixty thousand. So you're using a quarter of the money that of sixty thousand to pay for rent. Everybody want to be cool. They want. They don't want to be hot in the house. Ooh, man, air conditioning's got to be running. So let's go five hundred. That's another seventeen hundred dollars. All right, you make five thousand dollars a month, bro. Okay, so we at fifteen hundred. Let's say food for a family of three is eight hundred dollars. All right, we at twenty five hundred, brother and sister. That's a lot of money. Let's say we got two nice luxury car because you know we had a high bracket we got to show our wealth you know we got to show it and make it look good we got to get a mercedes we got to get an infinity we got to get a a nice car that shows that we live in that life all right let's say that both cars cost 1200 man boy aren't you almost in trouble we didn't we didn't even do the dental bill the co-payment all insurance of anything that you need and we looking at, we didn't even do credit cards, we didn't do back student loans. So, with that said, that $60,000 look, that $80,000 after taxes look kind of flimsy. All right. You've been to your job for a long time, and your company is saying things and speculations, and you're looking on TV, and you're looking at some round on yourself, and you see your company might not be doing as well as it should. And you kind of like, oh, please, I got so much debt. I got so much risk. I got kids in college, blah, blah, blah. See, that $80,000 looks good, but that's premature. That's not a lot of money. So since it looks so premature, you don't have no other choice to take on a second job. We're not adding your wife's $30,000, so we're going we're gonna to delete that. Because we're going to add, like, she stay at home. Because if you look at her money and she gets sick, you're pretty much broke already at 110. So you really need to be at 175 to 180. The really is on one person income. And probably you need to break down some of your debt factors. So I don't want to make this too long, but... If you're not creating wealth like a business or a network marketing business or something that gives you more income to stack money, place the money in investments and all other things, you, my friend, are putting yourself in a very, very rare situation. And that's a lot of risk. And you don't want to put yourself in a risk when you run a company. You won't. The risk is very limited because you have to know your business. But when you're working for someone and you're taking the risk of they continue to keep you on the job, my friend, and you're not creating anything, when your future is over, no matter what time you leave, 10, 20, 30 years, go watch. Maybe a, a, a certificate of a good employee. Well, guess what? You do not have nothing. And you cannot depend on Social Security. You can't depend on pensions these days. The company's going bankrupt. You cannot depend on all these factors until you start learning how to create your future for your family. This is Roosevelt Davis. This is business hustle owner. This is BHO Innovations and this is just justmelsogood.com. Down below all the things that I have for you to make more money, to create more wealth, 
to buy the book, to learn, to get the education that no one is telling you about. They just fooling you on the example that you are rich at 80000 to 100000 All right, guys. I'll holler at you later. Peace.